Yeah. All right. So welcome to Feds World Podcast, man. Once again, we back at it, man. On another one. Man, what shoot, what time is it right now? Eleven oh four PM, man. We bringing y'all something special tonight at eleven oh four PM. Usually, you know, usually I'm all, you know, I'm always doing something during the afternoon, but we got a we got a real good one tonight. Uh we got a special guest, personal friend of mine, for sure. One of Broward County's finest, for sure. Let's uh, add it. <laughs> definitely one of my definitely one of my top guys, man, from 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 a while back, man, from like high school throwback days. Throwback shit. For sure. Throwback, man. It's almost sandbox in a way. So um, yeah, man. So hey, look, we got a special one. I mean, this this guy right here, great family man, great businessman, entrepreneur. We're actually at his shop right now. Usually you guys see me at a different setup. But right now we're at his shop. Amazing looking shop. I get a cut from this guy every week too. That's why I'm so fresh tonight. That's why a lot of us are fresh tonight. <laughs> we got a we got a few people with us too, man. So man, we're gonna have a blast, man. But once again, man, great friend. Uh I met him, shoot, I know his I've known his cousin for just years. Dick and years. Yeah, man. So we've we actually lived in the same block. So just a great dude, man. And I wanna I want to introduce him the right way, man. So, what's up, Jeff? And I and I call him I call him Jeff, <laughs> but his name is Big Stunt. Big Stunt, two time, two time, Big Stunt, man. What's up, my boy? What's going on, fam? All right, man. All right. Yeah, man. So we got we got Jeff. Uh, we got Jeff in the building, man. Um, I'm gonna call him Stunt for the rest of this thing, man. I'm not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it right. And we and we both got the shades on too. I'm looking like a Martian. <laughs> nah, man, you look like, you he look looking like, like he out of space. <laughs> <laughs> he got the he got the he got the babes or what it is. Which one? Which one? What part? What the what the shoes is? Uh man, bathing apes. Man. He got the bathing apes. Yeah. I've never had a pair. <laughs> you know that's big facts. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. So yeah, man. So shoot, man. We finna we finna really get into it, man. Like so stunt, man. Like man, I, I'm not gonna lie. I got a story for you. Go right. Ahead. Let me hear. So, I remember I just opened up. Um, shoot, I haven't, I hadn't seen you in like years. Okay, you know what I'm saying. So we both came from, you know, from Boyd Anderson. Actually, is the high school that we went to. So I hadn't seen him in years, and I was at. I just opened up my store, Fedtronics over there on Sunrise. I remember. Yeah, facts. So I opened up my store. It was actually an electronic repair store. You know, I was doing different things in there. Mm -hmm. And I'm on social media. I look and I see, you know, I see Big Stunt doing something. I, I didn't even know you had a barbershop. Mm. So I didn't know at the time. Right. I'm looking. I'm like, yo, what is he doing? So you in front of the barbershop, you were promoting uh, something for the kids, like right. a community type event. Pretty much was like, you know, like a $5 Wednesday for the for the. For I the think kids. that's what it was. Yeah. It might have been something bigger than that. I thought it was like free cuts for the kids or something like that. You ever it, did that? It probably was because um certain certain situations I I'll, I'll do like free cuts for the kids and free free cuts for the community on a Wednesday. Okay. Sort. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So a community man. See, I forgot to even put that on the intro, man. He's actually he's you know he helps the community, man, the kids, and you know we all gotta love the kids. But uh yeah, so I noticed that. Man, all of a sudden, I said, you know what? I got to go support my guy. That was he the sure first is. thing I thought about. I said, I got to go support my guy. And this was years ago. I actually had a barber that I used to go to at the time. Mm -hmm. And I said, man, I got to go support my guy. So I decided to go ahead and, and drive down here. I, I did it like a little after. I probably should no, have probably was a few I, weeks. I remember that because um, it's crazy how you even say that because when you was coming, you came, yeah. you came, you, you came like pretty much playing like, Spoke like pretty much to see what's going on in the shop to see if it's really my shop. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think yeah. day three you came in with your flyers for that business what you got going on. You're like, Facts. Hey. <laughs> Facts. So that and and to my point. So now I come in, I get a fresh cut. You know what I'm saying? I leave a happy customer. Obviously, you right. know, stunt right. barbershop in Broward County. Now, right. y'all don't right. forget that if y'all in Broward, y'all better stop here, man. I'm telling you, the cut is amazing. Y'all see me? Y'all really, y'all, y'all don't oh, see man. me. You crispy, bro. Crispy. Crispy, crispy. So, yeah. So now, hey, man, the the cat, the the production crew, crispy too, though. Oh, yeah. You know, good. we got G crispy too. So <laughs> now I came through, man, and I handed you my flyers. Right. 
And I tell you no lie, this guy really supported me, man. Right. Anytime somebody came in here, he bought a bunch of customers to me. Right. He actually did, came to the store also to support me. Right. And I wanted to tell you, man, I really appreciated that. And I appreciate you too, man. Yeah, for sure, man. For sure. But that was great, man. You, man. I appreciate you, man. Yeah, for sure, for sure, man. So, you know, and since then, man, we, you know, I've been a big supporter. I come here every week mm -hmm. and shoot. Anybody gotta, should do the same. Gotta support black business, man. Facts, man. My son come here too. Yeah. Y'all don't forget that. Right. Yeah, so man, let man, so what so you're from so where, where were you born at? Like where, where I was actually from? born in Massachusetts, Boston, dog. That's yeah. Where I was born from. Yeah, Massachusetts. Um I left I left when I was probably like six years old. Okay. And um I moved to Fort Lauderdale probably like 1990, 1991. Yeah. And then um, I was living in Davie, bro. Like, and I was in a white area, and and it was really pretty much wasn't there. You know, at, at them times, and living in Fort Lauderdale, like at that time, it was barely nothing there. You know, yeah. what I'm saying a whole bunch of Indians and Mexicans, and so what. But um, yeah, that's where I moved to. I was staying at my grandma's house for a little bit, and um. Ever since then, you know what I'm saying, I was just trying to figure out what's what I was what's my next move. Cause even though I was young, it's like you living in in a um an environment of, you know, snow and and just pretty much just that's all you see was snow because that's what's in Boston yeah. at that moment. So it was like it was different because you coming down here in South Florida, it was just always sunny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, for sure. For <laughs> so it was sunny, yeah. like yeah. And then my, you know what I'm saying, like, when I was there, like, my dad just bought me bikes. When I was living up north, man, I, I didn't have no bike. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah We sure, never, sure. never really come outside. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We was yeah. always in the house. Yeah, cold as hell. Cold. Yeah. And I mean cold. It's always cold. Yeah. If it's not raining, it's always cold. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But overall, man, you know what I'm saying? I came down here in 1990, 1991, and I just, just make the best of it, trying to, like, learn the environment where I was at. And that was just that's what it was. That's what it was. Yeah. Nah, yeah. that's that's crazy because shoot, I came I came down here. I came to to Florida when I was about six years old from Bahamas. Oh, where around right. the same time? See, I didn't even know that. Yeah, man. ain't that see, crazy? See, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah that, that correlates because because right? it's crazy how um I know you for so long. I never knew that. Yeah, I thought yeah, you yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You, you oh, thought I'm from? I'm yeah. definitely from here. I can't I know leave. that. I know that. I can't I just, leave. I, I didn't even know that. Man. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. That's, yeah, that's for dope. sure. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah, so so growing up, man, like who did you who did you look up to? Like, um, honestly, man, I didn't have nobody to look up to, man, because yeah. I was the oldest. I wish because at that point, I kind of wished I was like the the middle child or the third child. I didn't have nobody to look up to because um I was the oldest, and it it hit, it hit home because um. When you don't got nobody to look up to, cause you really don't got nobody like to, to like pretty much like to be around with, yeah. Like a friendship, and uh, it it, it kind of like showed me to like you know what you know what, I gotta be I'm by myself I'm always gonna be by myself I was born by myself so I had to like figure it out. Um, pretty much like you know I had my sister cause my that was my sister my sister was like my my like she was the second and. That's the only person I actually talked to time to time. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even though she was younger at the time, she ain't know, she ain't know, she ain't know much what I was talking about because I was a little older, but you know, she was just there for me yep. at that moment. But yeah, like I didn't have nobody to really look up to at that, at that, at that age of time. Okay. And, and whatever what yeah. it was. So when you was growing up, like what made you say to yourself, like, you know, did you know at an early age like you wanted to be independent? Yeah. Like entrepreneur, have your own business. Like when? Yeah. When did that? Like when did that set in? You know, when you in the, in the point of your life, you man, you get a reality check. I think I got my rea my um reality check when I was thirteen. Yeah, thirteen years old. I kind of figured out like I was like, you know what? I'm gonna cut hair. Yeah, like for real. I was thinking about cutting hair when I was thirteen years old, because um my dad every every weekend my dad used to take me to a barber shop, and I kind of noticed like. Every barber in the shop was pretty mm -hmm. much like their own boss. Yeah. They they control their own schedule or their own time. And I felt like at that moment, I'm like, you know, time is everything. Yeah. Cause the way I seen the 
the barbers was moving in the shop was like, you know what? I don't got to cut your hair. I can move how I want to move and do what I want to do. And I was like, damn, that's that's kind of interesting to me. What What's so good about their lifestyle that anybody else? Because I used to watch my dad go to work and was like, he got to clock in. He got to work. Yeah. But these barbers was like, we was coming in, even though they were clock in, they'll come in and work and just leave and come back. So that was kind of interesting to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because... The only reason I the only reason I seen that because it was it, because they was pretty much when you go to a barber shop it's not like you just coming in and you just going you coming in and you staying yeah a period of time like a period of time so I used to be in the shop with my dad like at least an hour two three hours yeah. waiting 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 until I get a haircut so when you watching a barber it's like okay you ain't make no appointment so you already know you're gonna be seeing him for a while so that was kind of interesting to me watching. Okay, this 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 guy going for a break. This guy gonna go talk to a chick. This guy gonna go chill with his homeboys right quick before he get it, pretty much get a haircut. Yeah. So that was that that kind of like opened my eyes a little bit at that time. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. That was- now nah, that hey, that that just shows you, you know, sometimes you know at an early age, like that's 13, 13. I was I was probably on Dragon Ball Z and <laughs> I was you know, too. I Pokemon. Lie. I was too. That's what I was. I was too. Collecting baseball card, basketball cards. That's what I was on. You know, on, for a I, minute. I you was know? on that type of time. Too, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Lie. But hey, that was that was crazy that you yeah. was able to kind of see that. Yeah. At a at a young age, man. Because you know, I age. always see my pops just working. Yeah. So my, me too. Me yeah, too, not man. working, but he had a, actually had his own spot. But yeah. that's what I seen. Right. Right. You know. So yeah, man. So that was that was great. So. What now? Okay, so we moving along now. I'm so here. What made you say? Uh, did you start at another shop? Start first cutting hair, or did you say, "Man, you know what? I'm gonna open up my own shop." Like, how did you transition into that? You know what I mean? Um, it was crazy how you even asked me that question. Um, it was one day that um, the girl I married today, she asked me one time. She was like, she told me one time she was like, um. I can't just talk to any guy that just pretty much don't got nothing going for himself. Okay. So I was like, you know, when somebody tell you that, you just thinking like, damn, like what what does she mean? Like, can't talk to anybody guy that don't got nothing going for himself. Cause I was like, I got a lot going for myself. But when you really sit there and think to yourself, it's like, damn, I re- like. Like yeah. what? Why, why did you feel like you had a lot going for yourself? Because at, at that, that time, time I was in college. Okay. And when you tell a woman, like, hey, I'm in college, it's like, you got a lot going for yourself because she already know in her head when you say you're in college, like, you trying to get, you trying to strive for a degree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yeah, hey, baby, I'm in college. Yeah. She was like, well, I'm in college too. But what, what, is, what is your goal? When she told me what's your goal, I'm like, damn, I really don't got no goal. Yeah. Because I'm just here just to be here. And, she, and then she asked me, like, what is your career? Like, what do you, what do you, we, you going to school, but that's cool. You're in college, but what is your career? I'm like, damn, that's a good question. Because I was going to school just to go to school. That's all it was. Just yeah. going to school, just to go to school. And then at that point, I was like, damn, she have, she really have another another point. Yeah. But um, at that time, I was like, you know what? I got to figure it out. So that's when I dropped out. And I'm like... At that time, like, okay, I dropped out, so let me just go to barber school, a technical school, next door to the school I was going to. Okay. So I like, you know what? I'm gonna go pick up a trade. And then um when I was looking at the trade, when I was looking at the list, I seen a trade, it said barbering. I like, you know what? I'm gonna go to barbering. Yeah. And I told her about that. She's like, you know, you've been doing that since she was a kid. I don't think I think that'd be a best route for you. But when she said it to me, I ain't think that was gonna be big than what it was, cause, you know, I I thought about okay, I can cut hair, I cut hair, but I ain't think how far it was gonna get yeah. for me where mm-hmm. I'm at now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it would it, it it just took me some time to realize over a period of years, like where where can I really go? Yeah, with it. And then um And what year was this around what time this man, was? Man shit, man. Uh, at that time, man, I think it was probably like 2000 and, um, four, 2005. Okay. Yeah. That's a that's throwback. That's, man, that's a long time. Yeah, that's a man. long time. Yeah, in 2023 yeah. now, man. At that time, 
like when they, when so they how long is usually like barber school? Is it a little short? And bro, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. At that time, things changed now, man. Like when I did it, I'm not gonna lie. I did. I I took six months. Okay. Six months. I went. I went to school. I signed up. I went in there. I told a teacher. I said, "Listen, I'm not even trying to be here that long." He was like, "What you?" He was like, "What you mean trying to be here long?" Listen, I said, "Man, listen. I have. A, I got a time frame. I'm moving back to Fort Lauderdale. I'm trying to come and go." He like, he looked at me. He like, "What are you saying?" I like, listen, I'm on a time frame. I'm not here trying to bullshit with you. I'm trying to get here and get my license and go. Yeah. He like. All right. So what you gonna do? I said, listen, I'm gonna do all my school work, do what I gotta do, and I'm out of here. So it took me about six months. Six months. Easy. Okay. Did, did all my paperwork, cut as much as I gotta do, and I was out of there. Okay. 2000, 2009, I was I was back to Fort Lauderdale working at somebody else's shop. Somebody else gave me a chance to work at his shop. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I took that, I took that ride and I wrote it. So what now? If somebody said, "Okay, they want to become a barber," would you, would you suggest to them, or would you say, "Hey, look, if I had to give you some advice, I would advise you to go s- cut at somebody's shop first. I mean, before- that's always, that's always going to be the the thing because in the, the day, I, I I rather recommend you to work in somebody's shop because in the, the day, when you go to school and you go to working in somebody else's business, it's always going to be something different. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because it's it's always going to be something different. Cause working in the shop and going to school is totally different. Yeah. When I was working, when I was when I was cutting hair in school and working in the shop, the environment is totally different. You meet different people. When you go to school, it's just pretty much just your friends and your friends is referring other friends. When you working in a, when you working in the shop, you pretty much cutting people that you don't even know. Yeah. And and their lifestyles and their problems and and so on. Cause I was meeting people like X, Y, and Z. And they'll come to me, sit in my chair, and trying to vent to me. And I'll be looking at them like, I don't even know you like that. Yeah. Like, the, for you to even vent to me like that. I'm hearing people's personal problems. I don't even know what to say. Because yeah. cause it, it, hits, it hits deep. Because cause at that time, like, yeah, you can cut hair, but hearing people's problems is like, you're not like, you just thinking like, I got problems with my own. Yeah. Like, I don't, even how to, I don't even know how to answer to that. Answer to that. Yeah. Cause I was like, man, I was I was mind blown. But it took me some years though. It took me like probably like three, four years to realize, okay, these people, man, when they come, man, they come to come see you and talk to you. Because when they home, they don't really don't talk to nobody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They probably talk to the kids and the wife, but they're not gonna understand. Like they kids or they wives, they're not gonna understand what they're really going through because when they talk to a barber, I feel like it's different. Because even though I'm only here for a moment, they really vent differently to when they talk to their wife and their, and their kids. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they stay home. They be home with them like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They really be venting all their problems. And I got to sit here and then make you feel like everything going to be all right. Everything going to be okay. So there's more that comes to the yeah, with the game, man, it's basically. Di- it's, it's different, man. That shit, yeah. hit, that shit hit deep. Yeah. It's deep because I don't hear every little situations what they got going on and every such a pro- every little certain problems they got going on. It's deep because some because it, it, it it's so crazy how it's deep it is because I had a lady came one time she like you know what um she came one time to me she was like you know I know you've been talking to my husband I'm like yeah I have she like you know more than I do. I'm like, I probably do. And she was trying to vent to me. And, I, and the stuff she was telling me, I'm like, I never heard your husband talk about that. So I had to sit her down and talk to her. I'm like, you know, your husband's feeling this, your husband's feeling that. And then, and she was the last thing she told me, like, thank you. And that kind of like fixed her situation at home because she like, you know, my husband talked to me, but he never like really expressed how he was going on with his lifestyle. Yeah. And I had to tell her that, like, you know what I'm saying? This is how your husband's feeling. And then she was like, you know what? Thank you for fixing my situation at home because if it wasn't for you, I don't know how it would have worked. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it was. 
at that moment. Man, this thing is getting kind of deep. <laughs> and I ain't even, crazy, hey, man. y'all, don't, I'm going to take a sip real quick of this real quick. <laughs> That boy got a hat called Famous Enough. It famous <laughs> Enough, man. Look, but, man, I took I a mean, sip of this, boy, you know. You got a shirt on, say what it say? It say, be legendary, oh, man. Okay, That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing today for sure. And you a legend, so, you okay, know, we're going like to salute that. you like straight up. I like that. Um, you know, I'm going to take another sip. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, it's just, just something smooth. Y'all y'all don't worry about what's in my cup, man. Like, you know, it's nothing really. See, it's apple juice. Oh, right. You know what I'm saying? Set <laughs> right. the mood right real right. quick, man. Um, yeah, so... Man, that that's that's interesting that it, it comes with all that. So when did you say, man, I'm a I'm gonna open up my own shop? Like I did this, I did enough of this at this shop, I could go ahead and you know what I mean? It took me five years, man. I working at I was working at a shop for five years. Real talk, real talk. Five years, man. Mm-hmm. I don't put a lot of work, man, working in that shop for five years. Grinding. Okay. And then um, you know, you get to your point in your life, like, it's like Enough is enough, cause you can't cut everybody. When you have so much clientele, you can't even support everybody. Yeah, that's when you that's when you realize like, okay, I need a shop. And then when you saying you need a shop, it's not like you need a shop for like for yourself to cut everybody again, cause it's not like that. Yeah, you need a shop cause you need other employees to cut your clients. Because you have so much clientele. Because you, in the day, you can't not cut everybody. So when I was working at the shop, man, I was working there, man. I was like, damn, man. Like, it was getting out of hand. Because I'm working. People are coming open that door. Swinging, swinging, swinging. Hey, you available? Hey, you available? Hey, you available? And it gets deep because you can't, you can't cut them because... You too packed. Yeah. At that time, I'm like, you know what? It's time for me to open the shop. So I opened the shop. And then when I opened my shop, it was Emergency Road. I hired, I hired two guys to come work with me. And then um, they've been rocking with me ever since. You okay. Know what I'm saying? And then even if, it, and now, you know what I'm saying? They got their own thing going on. I really don't, I don't really don't question about it. But to this day, it's like, it's too much clientele, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a good pro. Hey, that's a good. You can't you can't be mad at that at all. The world's man. so big, you can't yeah. cut everybody, you man. Can't get to everybody. Can't get yeah. to everybody, man. Yeah. It's just like a car dealership, man. Yeah. How many, how many, how many corners you gonna hit in this car dealership? Yeah. Everybody's selling the cars, man. Everybody, a lot everybody's of people selling the cars. cars. Yeah. It's just Everybody's buying cars left and right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's deep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what did you, like, okay, so you decided to go ahead and open up your own shop. Right. What did you do to, like, like okay, you you probably, what, you saved some money up. What made you say, okay, right then and there, like, okay, I got enough stash, I got enough money in the bank or whatever, I could take this risk. Because it does come with risk. Now, you're going to open up a spot. Now, you're your own boss Totally, you got to do exactly what you want. Right, 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 right. So what, you know, what, what honestly, was it like? Honestly, man, I'm going to tell you the truth. I only had $5,000 in my account. Okay. One day, um, I was walking at a restaurant. And I was walking at a restaurant. I had ordered some food for the family. And um, I seen a sign say, uh, ready to rent. I had called them the next day. They told me they wanted first last of security. First last security was the same as that amount I had in my account. So I was like, damn, that's all I had was five thousand dollars. So I took that chance to say, fuck it, I'm gonna run it. I gave them the first last of security with five thousand. And ever since then, I just rolled with it. Okay. And that was it. I just I took that chance. Because at the end of the day, it was I was gonna make me or break me. Yeah. And I just took it. Cause then I was like, you know what? If I lose this money, I'm gonna lose the money. You if bet I, on yourself. I bet I man shit, I bet it big time. Big time. Big time. Yeah. Man, I just say, man, it is what it is. And I signed that lease, I didn't even think about it. I just I just did it. Yeah. And then I ain't gonna lie. The same day I signed that lease, I waited like Probably like two, three months, I was working at the other shop. 
And then when that owner told me, like, yo, I got to go, he got somebody coming in, I already know it was, it was on. That light switch kicked on, like, it's on. Because for some way, somehow, I got to make this money back. Yeah. And I just did it. So you took some of the clients that you had, obviously, probably all course, your clients. Of course, of course. So of all course. your clients really just moved over to you. Yeah, they, you know, you know, if if you are a good barber and then, you know what I'm saying, you just do what you do, people are always going to follow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then people did follow. They follow. They follow mm-hmm. me. And now I just roll with it. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I gain some and I lose some. Yeah. That's how the game go. Yeah. You're always going to lose some. You're going to gain some. You lose one, you get three back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So So starting your own, now you got your own spot. Right. What was some of the like I know, you know, you when you first open up, it, you know, everything, because in your mind, you're probably thinking, I'm a who knows, some people think they're gonna pop, mm-hmm. everything's gonna be great. Right. What what to you was like, okay, man, this ain't this is some serious stuff right here, man. I might, you know, was everything smooth as far as you know, you had to, you know, make sure you had to make, you were making enough to cover all the bills. Was everything smooth? It was did, never smooth. You know, it was never smooth. Never okay. Never smooth. Never right. smooth. Never smooth. Especially when you by yourself and you're yep. just doing it. Just doing it. Um, it took, a, it, it, it took, a, it took a while. Um, pretty much, you know, I had a network trying to find other people. The first person I took. For some, I I don't I want to say it like that. Like I took the person from somebody, but the first person I met was um, a gentleman named Plotty. Um, I went to, I pulled up with him one day. I ain't gonna lie, Plotty, Plotty, right there. <laughs> Shoot, <laughs> I pulled up with him one day at a barber shop. He was working at a barber shop, yeah. and um, I told him I'm gonna pull up on him. But uh, I ain't gonna lie, like when I put on him, I, I really want to pull up. Like, I'm a type of person, when I pull up on you, I'm a type of person, I pull up on you with oppression. Like, I got to show you, like, I'm top. But I pull up on him, like, regular. Regular, yeah. just just me personally. Like, I just pull up with my own car. Because when I pull up, I pull up with somebody else's car. I ain't going to lie. It's, it's, it's what it is. Like, yeah. it's who I am. Like, I'm stunt. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm going to yeah, pull yeah. up. I'm going to pull up some... Some crazy yeah, shit. Yeah, it was something know, crazy. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to show you like, hey, man, it's money out here. Yeah. But I say, nah, I ain't going to do him like that. Like, I'm just going to pull up regular degular. I pull up my regular car like, hey, man, what's up, man? You're like, yeah, I'm here. I'm working here. This and this and that. You're like, all right. So i like, man, listen, if you come work for me, I'm going to show you how you can make the most money you ever make in your whole life. Yeah. He looked at me. I looked at him like, you're like, that's what you're going to do? I'm for sure. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna run it. And then he just same week he popped up. Yeah, I like everybody I ever talked to, and I say the same line. They never shook on it. Yeah. He was the only person that actually took yeah. the offer. And at that time, I was like, "Damn, man, I don't know. You just coming here just because you trying to find a leeway or whatever the situation was." But yeah. I was like, "Man, you know what? Fuck it. He here. I think he's gonna ride with me." Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And he rode with me ever since then. Yeah. And we then, know uh, Cloudy is so lakes, so Broward <laughs> County for sure. Yeah, right. You know, that's, but, that's where but we from. Overall, man, it, 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 it's a lot. Yeah. It, it's, this ain't no walk in the park. And I don't, I don't, any barbershop that I can speak on, it's not easy. Yeah. How many like, times you told yourself, man, I'll close these doors down? Plenty of times. Okay. Plenty of times. Honestly, I can tell you that plenty of times. Sometimes I wake up in the morning, I'm like, you know, I, I be like, you know what? It's, it is what it is. I'm, I'm done with it. Yeah, I'm gonna, and I'm telling you this honestly. Sometimes I really do say, you know what, I'm done with the shop. I rather just go venture off and do my own thing, or, f- or go find something else to go do. But when you when you in love what you do and you dealing with certain people, it just it just brings you back to like square one all over again when you first started. Yeah, and that and that hit deep because in the day because you can't just say I'm done. Yeah, because any guy in this world like. To sit here and say they done with like with a business or dealing with certain people, they're crazy. Yeah. Cause I know if they feel how I feel. Nah. Yeah. yeah. It's a different, it's, it's a different, it's a different you know, vibe, yeah, it's, it's a different, different burden on yeah, you for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't just you ain't gonna be able to let it go like that. Yeah. Even though you might say, oh, I'm gonna let it go, they ain't gonna let it go. But you really love like cutting hair. Nah, that, that's your passion, man. Listen, that's I, like your that's your purpose in life. Because I tell all, I try to tell people, man, to like find their purpose. Like I tell you, man, I, I, man, 
I knew this when I was 13 years old. Yeah. 13. Yeah. Some, some people don't realize life until they hit 21, 23, yeah, yeah, yeah. 33. That's facts. 40s. Yeah, that's true. I was 13 yeah. years old. My mom and dad told me straight up, like, Barry ain't no, Barry ain't no career. Yeah. You still working. Yeah. You need a career. And, and living on a Haitian household, they was like more like, oh, just go get a job, like, be a lawyer, go or go be a police officer, or go to the army, or do this and do that. I already know by 13, I was like, nah, man, I'm gonna be a barber. Yeah. I'm gonna cut hair. I'm gonna I'm gonna provide for other people that actually do who's gonna go to work. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and they looked at me like I was crazy. Like, you're just gonna be a slave all your life. Like, yeah. nah, I ain't no slave because at the end of the day, I can own a business like that. They didn't understand that. Yeah. They didn't understand that until I probably was like, when I opened my own shop, yeah. they're like, this guy wasn't playing. Yeah, you know for what I'm sure. saying? For sure. And and that's when I that's when you really get different type of respect. Yeah. From your own parents, mom and dad, like, oh, this kid ain't playing. This kid say he wanna open up his own business. Yeah. He made an LLC. Yeah. How he, how he, did he know about that? Yeah. Like, man, I ain't playing about that, man. Yeah. This 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 shit here different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna go work. I don't mind standing on my feet all day and work and work my hands and work my feet, man. I'm, I'm yeah. cool with that all day every day. See, so see, big, see, stunt, oh, big I stunt. <laughs> he found, he found his purpose, man. What a camera! G, put the camera on me. This camera on me. All right, <laughs> look, man. Big stunt found his purpose, man. Right. And he was doing what he loved to do. Right. And when you doing what you love to do, you are gonna fight for it. Facts. You are gonna make sure that you on time for it. Facts. You know what I mean? Because when you're doing something you hate, you're definitely not going to show up. You're not going to show up. You know? You're going to be miserable. Miserable. And how the heck are you going to be legendary? Look, I'm wearing that Be Legendary. Check this out. We got Kobe on the top. 24. That's all legendary stuff, man. That's all we're doing out here. So that that's the purpose of this channel. We want to promote. Something fell, but don't worry about it. But we want to promote entrepreneurs. We want to We want to show you that, man, you could do whatever you want to do. With purpose and handle your business, man. It's right. it's it's really it's I mean, it's not all that simple, but it's really that simple. It, it's not simple, but as long yeah. as you're gonna put that work in, yeah. It gets simple. Yeah. As long so, as you put that work, it gets simple. Yeah. If you ain't putting that work in, it's not gonna be simple. Yeah. It's simple. not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen yeah. that way. You gotta put that work in. Got to. Yeah. So Grand mode. I could attest to this because I see him come in every day. He's the first one in, mostly last one out. Facts. Right now, we're gonna be the last ones out. Right. But usually he's the last one out. So, I mean, it the shop's great. And when I first came, I seen you at another shop. You was at the shop not next too plaza. far from me. I, I was next to Plaza. Was that the one you started with? Or? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I was, yeah. Yeah, I was yeah. there. I was there. I was there for three years. I signed my first lease over there. Okay. One year. Just okay. to test the water. Okay. Mm. So, so what made you say, you know what, I'm going to leave that spot. I need a... Whether bigger it's a spot, bigger spot, or something like that. Um, pretty much was, I was working there, and I had somebody working there. He was the who was a tattoo artist, and he was working in the back room. And um, when he was working in the back room, he passed away. So after he passed away, it was like okay, he passed away. I said, all right, I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna work here. Whatever. I still had the same employees that were working there. Whatever. But um, this shit hit deep, man. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You know, I, I, it's deep. Yeah, for sure. You know sure. what I'm saying? One day he came to me, told me he wasn't feeling too good. I was like, all right, you know what I'm saying? You know, stay home. You're like, nah, I can't stay home. I gotta get this money. Cause me and him always had the same hustle. Every day he called me at twelve o'clock. Okay. Clock work. Like, yo, bro, I'm finna come to work. Even though days I ain't feel like talking to him, he still called me every day at 12 o'clock, say, hey, I'm coming to work. If it's is it busy over there? And then, you know, when he says it's busy over there, he just always uses it as a joke. Like, I already got my own clientele. I'm not, I'm not asking if you're busy. I'm just asking if the shop busy because I don't like coming to the shop when the shop not busy. But you already know the shop was always busy every day yeah, at yeah. that time at 12 o'clock. But um, once he had passed away, it hit different because um, I was like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
the back door was always closed. So I so what I did was I hired somebody else to open the to work in the back. I so I had a studio back there that was doing like music and stuff like that. But every time they were closing the door, I was thinking I was thinking about him opening the door and closing the door. So I was like, you know what? It's time to go. Yeah. I can't I can't do it. So it was tough. So that loss was just Yeah, that, really that tough was a big me. loss to me because yeah. um even though I didn't know him for so long, but being talked to him every day for like almost close to a year hit different. Yeah. And I didn't even know him like that. Yeah. But it was crazy. Okay. So you decided from that point, I'm a I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna move because it was it was it was mess it was messing with my mental and it was, and I was very getting like at that point emotional about it. Yeah. Because knowing the fact that you you see a person every day open the door close the door open the door close the door it just mentally kind of messed me up a little bit. Yeah. So I like you know what I gotta go to a bigger spot and move on with my life. Yeah. And and that's what I did. I just moved on. Okay. And then when I had found this spot over here, I th- I was like you know what this is it. I'm gonna run it. Yeah. And then all my staff that was that was here, they all helped me. You know, big up to the staff, but you know, they all helped me just move all <laughs> one hundred. Move, move all the stuff over here. Yeah. To the shop yeah, over here. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? All the even even the like the um the employees, not even employees that the customers yeah. even helped out. Like, you know what I'm saying? They all understand. I was feeling at the moment, so they all helped out and moved all the equipment, all that's love. the belongings and stuff over here. That's just, love. To, just, just to make it happen for me. Yeah, that's love. And and, and that was it. And I've yeah. been here ever since then. Okay. Yeah, for sure, man. You know, I always wanted to know, man, like, and why every time I go into a barbershop, y'all always fresh, man. Shoes always crisp. Like, man, what, like, what, 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 like, where that come from, man? Is that part of the culture? Like, what? It's culture. Is it? Because yeah, every culture. man, y'all always either got some new kicks on. Kicks. New <laughs> kicks. The the drobe is somewhat, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's it's it, and you gotta match like from head to toe. You don't gotta match though. You don't gotta match. <laughs> gotta match. The <laughs> shoes just gotta be it. The shoes or the shirt. Yeah. The jeans, the jacket, okay. the hat. Everything it, gotta <laughs> be fresh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, Claudie, it, stay fresh. Like it's 10,000 shoes. Yeah, he got shoes. I got shoes too. Is it part of the and I, that's almost every barbershop though? Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it what make y'all do that though? Is it just or is or am I tripping? Is it is just a a, a Broward County stuff or we just? I don't think it's a Broward. Like I don't fresh. think it's a Broward County. I just I think think it's more like a lifestyle. Yeah. Because when you when you when you work at a barbershop, it's like pretty much a lifestyle. Yeah. You wear what you want. Yeah. Some guys who come in regular degular. Just work shoes, same shoes every day, work jeans and, and button up shirt or t shirt and barber cape. Yeah. Some barbershops I seen, they just come in uniformed up. Yeah. They all have the same color t shirt, same pants, same shoes. Yeah. And um So basically it's more just a, you know, you kinda just doing what you want, so right. it's a lot easier. Like my to, shop, my shop, you come as you come as you are. Yeah. If you want to come fresh, you come fresh. Yeah. You want to come relax, you come relax. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like me personally, I come relax. Yeah. I come every day with short pants, t-shirt, sneakers on. Yeah. But so the my, sneakers fresh though. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I got other people that work here, you know, and they come dressed and pressed. Sometimes yeah. they might come in with a suit on. That's yeah. that's how they feel. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they might come in with a dress on. Yeah. That's how they feel. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so for I, sure. I, I leave it as they as how they want to how they want to live their lifestyle how they want to come to work because you know how they come to work is how they can perform yeah and performance is always important for them you know so they feel comfortable got to like got to feel comfortable yeah. cuz you know, if you're not comfortable in your own little environment how you going how you going to cut yeah how you going to do hair how you going you know what I'm saying deal with your customers yeah. it's always important me personally I come to work comfortable yeah I come to work t-shirts shorts Sneakers. Okay. Fitted hat. Yeah. That's how I come in. All right. So, you know, we, we fresh. So now, okay, so I noticed there's about one, two. It about, it about three, how many six, chairs we got six, in? Here? It's six chairs here. So six chairs. How six like chairs. how does that work for you? Like, okay, you got you you opened up this obviously you got a shop. Mm-hmm. Now you have to you ran out. Is that what the I ran out the of chairs every week. Okay. 
every week. Every week I ran out of chairs or whatever. Is it every week? Meaning like every week they they pay their booth rent every week. Okay, so it's a weekly thing. A weekly thing. Okay. Everybody, everybody barbershop is different. Mm-hmm. Some 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 people just do you know weekly. Some people do um, monthly. Some people just do um, pretty much um, a yearly thing. I, yeah. I I'm just saying yearly because I don't know how everybody at barbershop is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, but I know my shop for sure. We do we do a weekly thing. You know and saying? weekly work for you. Yeah, yeah, weekly work for me. They yeah. pay me every Sunday or Saturday, depending on um, how they feel or yeah. a, uh, how much money they made for that week, whatever. Yeah. We don't really don't discuss on booth rent because they all good with me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a lean, lean guy. I'm a cool guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm not here pressing for cash. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we all, we all look at each other like family, so they all take care of me. Yeah. Like, I always take care of them. Yeah. It's not like they're going to pay me booth rent. Like, they oh, oh, we just take care of Jeff. They know they, they're paying that booth rent to, to make sure their seat's secure and, and taking care of their business of this shop. Yeah. And when I say taking care of the business of the shop, meaning, like, you know, make sure the light bill's on, um, towels getting washed, uh, TV's on, light yep. bill's on, water bill's getting paid, and stuff like that. Even though for me, I make my money just from booth rent. Yeah. But they know what it is. You know what I'm saying? So I don't gonna really have to explain. Nah, so I get much, it. But, you know, yeah, for sure, yeah. for sure, for sure. <laughs> but you know, either way, that's your setup. Your setup is, you know, what well, most barbershops, that's probably their setup. Right, if right. they wanna do go that route, but mostly that's what they do. If you right. wanna add barbers, right. you probably do a weekly, monthly type right, right, type thing, right, type setup. Right. Okay. So you you would tell somebody who wanted to open up a barbershop, like, what advice would you give them? Ah, oh, man, shit, man. From wanna, your experience. If they want to open a barbershop, man, um, I would tell them to go, I would tell them pretty much go small. Okay. You don't got to go big. Because it don't cost that much to open a barbershop. Yeah. At all. It might take you about $3,000 to open a barbershop. Yeah. Depending on where you're going yeah. and what spot you're going. You can get a suite. Yeah. Start for real small. And then when you know you can get clientele that you can't handle, then you maybe you might have to go you can go bigger from there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And ain't that much I can really say because that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You're always gonna start small then go big. Yeah. Some people go big and go small. I don't do that. I go yeah. I go small then get big. That's just me. Yeah. And so now I noticed one thing that you've done too. Like I seen that you've embraced the kids. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like you've mm-hmm. you're a big and I I've always I like I, I, I admire it. Right. You know what I'm saying? The fact that you embrace the kids and you're doing like five dollar specials for Wednesdays, and I right. see you do community events. Right. How important was that, and like how has it like changed the business? Like what, what, what was the reason for you to do it? Like, um, honestly, when I did it, I want to say I was just trying to bring a crowd in here. I know there's a lot of it was a lot of single moms out here just. Don't got it like that. They just trying to like figure it out how they gonna cut the kids' hair because they gotta go to school and whatever situation was. So I just I just ran with it. Yeah. And and then I learned this method from the last shop I was working with. Cause his his special was five out of Tuesdays. Okay. And um working with him and then my shop, it was the same, it was the same same method. Like every every kid, not even kid, I'm sorry, every mom was going through it. Like Trying to raise the kid and have a a normal lifestyle. I mean, yeah. like what I mean, more normal hot lifestyle. Like, you know, when you don't got much, you gotta do whatever you whatever it takes. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I just kept with the kept kept with the same price range for the Wednesday for them to be comfortable and just yeah. bring the kids in, get a haircut because they could be fresh on a, on a, on. A, in the in the in the mid uh, midweek, yeah. So they'd be good. So what made you like wanna? What made you like? Do you do it during? Do you do it during specific times, or is it something like you know you just pick and choose? Like okay, it's the holidays, I might do it, or you just kind of keep it running. Like what do you do? Like no, nah, it was just a specific day, Wednesday. Yeah. Just Wednesday. So every Wednesday, bring in your kid. We yeah. you know we middle good. middle of the week. Yeah, middle and you throwing some like events and stuff, right? Too? It depends on what the situation is. Yeah, depends. Okay. Yeah, man. So sometimes I might, somebody, sometimes I might do a, um, I might rent a park out. It gives the kids like you know special activities. Yeah. 
like gives free stuff away, bikes, yeah. toys. That that's I seen you do that. Yeah. yeah. For sure. How's yeah. how's the like how's the outcome with that? That that's it's always good. Yeah. It's always a blessing. Because a lot of people that. don't see stuff like that. They nah, don't know. Nah. They just think you just raking in a bunch of cash and Man. you're not really giving back, but you really Listen, do I don't give, give back. back. I don't give back since 2006. Yeah. We in 233 now, man. Yeah. I don't give back plenty of times. Yeah. Sometimes I don't I don't give back so many times, it don't make no sense. Yeah. I don't I don't give back to a hospital. Yeah. I don't give a bunch of toys to a hospital. Plantation, Plantation Hospital I gave back. Yeah. A lot of toys for every kid that was sick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not asking for credit for it. Yeah. I just did it. Yeah. Because I know I got I got a heart. And that was it. Okay. Yeah, for sure, man. Look, man, it's famous it's important. Enough. It's you famous enough, <laughs> man. It's important to go ahead and <laughs> That's a dope ass hat, man. Man, I can't lie. It is you kind of fly. If you don't give me a hat like that, it's an issue. Man. Yeah, I got you though. The snapback though? It, what is this one? Yeah, it actually is. I need a snapback yeah, hat, man. I got you for sure. And it's kind of man, you put this joint backwards, it's still fresh. Ooh. It's still fresh, man. But look, we famous enough for real, man. That's a nice hat, like, man. Famous real. enough. I, can't I like even that. Lie. You like that concept? Hat, man. I never yeah. see you. And the last times I be cutting your hair, I never seen a hat on you. Man. Yeah. That's well, a, I, you know, when I come, a dope hat, yeah, man. when I come here, I come pretty simple too. Man. Like I just come in, no, I in see and you. out. Like when you had them try boxing your feet. Every once in a while, I just <laughs> like that. That morning, I'm in a rush. I'm just, I'm like, damn, I gotta whatever kicks I could find. I'm popping them joints on. Okay, I feel that. Well, I have a problem too. Like I, I like to leave. I be leaving new kicks in the stash. I'm reusing. See you. You wear all yours. Yeah, I do. Yeah, just about. Which I like, but yeah. I need to like. And sometimes I just don't be caring. Like, yeah, you have the moments, man. Yeah, yeah. You, you have so many sneakers. You're just going to wear one pair every day. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Every once in a while, I just get into one. that routine. Yeah. Like, yeah. if it, I'm like that too. Or whatever. I'm yeah, like that too. I'm like that too. So I might have a specific like five that I might just yeah me go too. to. Yeah, me too. Yeah, you go to five. Five, you know, stay famous enough. Fam famous enough. Yeah. yeah, that's a dope hat, man. Yeah, I can't. You even... don't got any colors. You just got any one color. Black, man. Black. I got black, a shirt. Black too. is black. You black, man. Yeah, it's man. Real simple, man. Yeah, and it was fly. When I seen it, I was like, yeah. I gotta add this. Yeah. And it was a lot. It was different. It is different. Cause you know, I like to tell people, don't try to be yourself. Like, yeah, famous enough is different. Yeah, man. it's different. You could be yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to be like everybody else. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Facts. Man, look, man, stunt. I, man, I. I ain't gonna lie, I appreciate this man a lot. Um, right. The fact that we was able to put this together was trying to get this done too last year. Yeah, but man, you know, Stunt got a vacation. Yeah, yeah I got a vacation. You time got a vacation. Time. You got vacation family time. time but family I appreciate because you know it. It takes a lot of time to do stuff like this. Yeah. But you know, we gotta ask that question, man, because a lot of people want to know. What's that? Like, man, how much could you make off this thing, man? Like, how much Which can one? you make? And you could. You don't gotta give us what your pockets. You, because we're trying to dig in your pockets. We're trying mm -hmm. to find out what you got, but right. not really. So, but how much could you make off of, you know, being a barber, owning your own shop? Like, what, you could estimate it. Give a give us an estimate. What could you make annually or, or monthly Honestly, or something like man, that? Honestly, man, tell you the truth, I made more, I made a little bit more. On a, um, <laughs> you don't have to say your numbers per se, but you can Nah, give I'm going to tell you, man, because I don't want people it. thinking that, oh, that's it. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah, honestly, man. I made more than hundred thousand, man. Okay, so I you made, can make a nice, clean living. Just. I I made more than a hundred thousand. Yeah, I might make at least a hundred and thirty. Yeah, hundred and forty. Yeah, hundred thousand a year. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I make real good money. Yeah, do what I do. Yeah, like for real. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And and it. Gets deep. <laughs> deep, yeah, for sure. Hey, man, one thirty. Who could? Who? Who be mad? You be mad at making one thirty? Yeah. <laughs> hey. Jeez, it, man. See, I, mean, G, I see all his teeth. Yeah, I mean, good. I good. And I'm just saying, one hundred and thirty, one hundred and twenty. Like that, just on the safe side. Yeah, like, yeah. That's just make, conservative. Yeah, I yeah. probably make a little bit more than that. Yeah. And who knows? This this is a whole new year. I might make a little bit more. Yeah. Because. In a day, like I said, like you can't cut everybody. Yeah. But I'm willing to take more clientele. Yeah. Guaranteed. Yeah, for sure. I'm willing to take more clientele. Yeah. I'm willing to work. Yeah. For that. Yeah, for sure. Every year is always different for me. Yeah. Some years I might, you know what, I got this going on, this going on, but and when I say when I say I'm willing to take more clientele, not me me sitting here on cut more heads. Yeah. 
That's me just doing other stuff. Yeah. Other business adventures. Yeah. I think it's as as at this time, I think it's is is for me to venture off yeah. and do different stuff. Yeah. Cause I got a lot of stuff in plan. I got a, I got a notebook at my house, man. Yeah. I wrote stuff down. So we're about to get to that. Yeah, go really? ahead. So, I, got, I got stuff in my phone that I wrote down too, like what I'm trying to do, yeah. what I'm trying to focus on, and where I want to move on with my life. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's so what in is. so in 2023, right? Yeah. You got shoot. We got a lot of stuff going on as far as the economy. Right. People are struggling. Gas right. prices are up. Always. Inflation's crazy. Grocery prices are crazy. Man, eggs. You can't even get eggs. eggs. I was just about to say that. So you read my mind. Yeah, right. What are you seeing in your business that's like, is it different? Is it the same? I know everybody, you're going to need a cut. Right. But are you noticing a slowdown? You know, what are you? I notice everybody want to be a boss. That's true. Everybody want to be the boss. Yeah. Meaning like, doesn't matter from the barbershop or you just... You you're a nurse or whatever it is. Everybody want to venture off and do their own little thing. Yeah. So at that time, you gotta realize for yourself, like, what are you gonna do? Because mm-hmm. since everybody's in motion with everything, what's your motion? Yeah. So I think my motion is going like pretty much like just doing something different. Yeah. I might just go mobile. Yeah. So so that brings me to the next question. So you haven't so your business hasn't really slowed down at all due to the Man, economy. since since the pandemic, I think I made the most money in pandemic. Mm. I think when the pandemic hit, like 2021. 2020, I think. 2020, 2020, 2021. Yeah. I think I made the way I, I think I made more money in the pandemic mm. than anything else, man. For on God. You think it's recession proof? You think being a barber is recession proof? Like the recession don't affect it. It just Nah, it's never gonna affect it. It never affected. Nah. Yeah. Or it may be just about your hustle. That too. Yeah. Who yeah. knows? Yeah. But so far, any type of downtime ain't really affect you like that. I think I think mayors need haircut too, ain't it? Everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think presidents need haircut too, right? Yeah, everybody. So I'm yeah. I'm I'm pretty sure recession proof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm yeah. good. If you wanna stay clean. Gotta stay clean. Yeah, for sure. You clean. I gotta be clean. <laughs> Look, I gotta be clean. That's why I come to cameraman clean. That, cameraman <laughs> clean. That's why I come to Big Stump Barbershop at all times, man. If you're yeah. in Broward, you know he might not be able to take you in, but he got other barbers here that's that's you know they talented to too. You. you know what I'm saying? Willing to take you, to take long you, you in. Patient too. Gotta be patient. Sometimes you gotta be a little patient too, man. I ain't gonna patient. lie. Get I'm patient. I'll get you in, get you out, but you gotta be patient. You gotta be a little patient, you know. And he actually he's right because he'll. He cuts efficiently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got thirty like, minute grace period. Yeah, he does his thing, man. Yeah, he cuts yeah. efficiently. I, ca- yeah. I can't even lie. Facts, man. So, man, what's like, but you said it too, man. What's next for Big Stunt, man? Like, what's what's coming up? Like, what are you thinking about? Man, what's on? Like, what's in that notepad? Man, shit, it's a lot. Yeah, and I can't give you too much details because yeah, yeah. I'm a type of person that just gotta make it happen before I speak on it. Yeah, yeah. and I want to speak on it on on it on happen. Yeah. I'm that type of guy. Like I don't want to tell you, and then it don't. I don't want you feeling like, oh, I'm just all about talk. Yeah, and it'll never happen. But one thing for sure, that mobile thing. I could honestly say I could say yes. Yeah, that's gonna be. That's gonna be in motion. Yeah. Explain yeah. that to me. Like, what is the like? Mo- what is the? How does that work? Like when you when you when say I say mobile, mobile, like you know what I'm saying. I'm thinking about more like you know what I'm saying like. Uh, spin a van, customize like a barber shop. Yeah. Personal, you got you have your own personal barber. You know what I'm saying? Come to you personally at your job and your own time on your own business. Cut your hair and keep it moving. Yeah, that's what that's what I think. Yeah, that's sure. I think that's gonna work. I think that's the the new wave now. Yeah, because a lot of people don't have time to come to a barber shop. Yeah, people just be going to work on time. They have to be at work at a certain time. And sometimes they don't have time to go to a barbershop because they have kids. And not just kids, they have other family members they got to take care of. Yeah. And so it's like, it's best to go mobile and go to you. Yeah. Same way for a car wash. That's why you have mobile car wash guys that come to you. Because sometimes people don't have time to take their car to go to a car wash. Yeah. They got to call a mobile guy to come clean their car. So I think that's the... Next wave for me, yeah, to, to catch that wave before it's too late, yeah, and that's what it is like go mobile, yep, 
for sure. Mm-hmm. Hey, mobile sounds, shoot, I can't even I I use it. Yeah. That's for sure. It's like buying a, it. it's like buying a house, man. Like yeah. you have a realtor, right? What did yeah. a realtor do do for you? Yeah. They get you. Yeah. yeah, take you to the house, they right? Take you to the spot. Yeah, yeah he getting you, you get in his car, right? Yeah. He's burning all his gas and yeah. he's burning all his not even get if he's burning his gas, but yeah. he's using all his miles on you. Yeah. Taking to house to house to show you each house. Yeah. He's mobile. He's taking you to place to place, place to place. Yeah. Hey, I think you should buy this house. Nah, I think you can get this house. Give me the best deal. Yeah, for sure. So it's like at this time, you gotta follow the wave. Everything's yeah. getting mobile now. That's why we got Uber Eats. Yep. That's why we got um Grubhub and, and the rest of the companies and stuff like that. And yep. Uber. Yep. Because everybody's moving on conveniency. For sure. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. See, it's after, convenience. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. After, but you after, pay for it. Yeah, you got to, of course you, you got to pay, pay for it. You got to pay for it, but it's convenient. But after this year's up, who knows what's going to happen next year? Yeah. New technology, new everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So just got to catch the wave. And if you catch the wave, you're good. If you yeah. don't catch the wave, then you're stuck. Yeah. Nobody want to be stuck. That's facts. Mm hmm. Okay. So, man, that's great, man. So, where can people find you? Like, what's your socials? Uh, G G's gonna go ahead and put that up for you guys, okay, man. Okay, cool, cool, cool. But what's cool. your like? What's your soul? Where, where can we find you at, man? Like, well, you can find me on Instagram, mm-hmm. on IG, on uh, Stunt Two Times. Stunt Two Times. Stunt Two Times. I, I'm not gonna lie, man. I don't even post my work. You might find me <laughs> just doing my thing and the family thing. It's That's all it. good. It's you know all good. Saying? But yeah. you can find me on Instagram, Stunt yeah. Two Time. You can find me on Facebook. Uh-huh. Legit name Jeff LeBeau. Okay, I hate it. <laughs> I got my full name on Facebook. So I don't like yeah. I don't like how Facebook do it like yeah, that. That's how they yeah, do you can it. find me on uh, on Facebook, yeah. Jeff LeBeau, IG Stunt Two Time. Um you can Google me. You can Google me on um for show for show. Um same both ways. Yeah. Jeff LeBeau and mm-hmm. or Stunt Two Time. You and for the barbershop, you got they could just if they're looking yeah, you yeah, up, Google. Stunt, um, stunt, stunts Barber and Beauty Lounge. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can find me. Yeah. My phone number, pop up, everything legit. Yeah, for sure. You know? Uh, and I'm active. Active, <laughs> man. If <laughs> man, if y'all enjoyed the content, man, because you know we, you know, it took a lot to do this shoot. And we by did, the way, this is sponsored by Pluto Studios. Ooh. Y'all don't forget that, man, because you know we had to do a lot. Like you know, we this is a mobile thing. We had to come to his shop mm-hmm. to kind of get this done. I hope you guys are you know appreciate this, appreciate the content. If you do, or if you you know whatever you leave some comments below. Let me know what y'all think about the. The special, let me know what y'all think about Jeff. Y'all want a part two? Y'all let me know. Y'all leave some comments below, man. Like, let's talk about it. Let's talk about barbershops. Are you trying to open up a new business? Like, you trying to you trying to be a barber? Let us know. If you need some mentorship or something like that, you never know, man. Hit hit Jeff up. He might be able to help you out. He might be Guidance, able to tell man. you, give you, you know, put you in, a, in the right direction. And we want to help you do that as well. So you can hit me up. Uh, follow us on, on IG. You know, we're on Facebook, we're on YouTube, you know, obviously you're watching us on YouTube. Check us out on our podcast on Spotify, Amazon, we're everywhere you want to be. That boy, you know in every platform. Every platform. Hey, look, I appreciate you guys, number one, because y'all could have been doing anything else today, man. Y'all chose to rock with us, man. Y'all chose to rock with myself, G, Jeff, Big Stunt. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Call him. He got a couple names, so y'all could call him whatever y'all want to call him. <laughs> stunt, look, big stunt, big stunt, whatever y'all want to call stunt him. But man, time, we appreciate y'all really for really tuning in, man, and rocking out with us today. But like I said, y'all could like. Go ahead and like the video. Subscribe. Right. Definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man, and actually get the hit the bell, man, because those notifications come quick. Right. And get and get in early because the channel's growing. Mm-hmm. Y'all really want to miss out. Mm. Come on. Y'all really want to mess up? Y'all going to miss out. I be wearing new shades like every week. Y'all yeah, want to miss out on that? What you got? Dolce Gabbana? These, these some... Bal- Man, he's trying. <laughs> these some Balenciagas. But that... Oh, Balenciaga. Don't, okay, okay. don't, don't listen to Jeff, man. He's trying to get oh, okay. me into some stuff. I got to be fresh <laughs> out here, man. But look... Got, that boy got money. <laughs> yeah, man. I, you know, the tax man. Listen. <laughs> but look, man, y'all... Y'all go ahead and definitely go ahead and follow. Don't miss out on no episodes, man. And if y'all want to hit that, like I said, hit that bell so it can notify you guys anytime we posting up, posting a new video. Right. And we got a bunch of clips for you guys. Uh, you know, we're going to have some clips for for Stunt on there too. It's going to be great. We're going to put on a, a real good, spe- just a real good special for you guys. Don't miss out on it. But for sure, hit us up on IG. Uh, hit us up on IG, Facebook, or even on Twitter. 
uh, not not even on Twitter. We are on Twitter, but we're even on TikTok. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Deep. That TikTok thing is it moves fast, but mm. we're on there. So you might don't miss a video on there too. Follow us on there, and it's all Feds World under everything like that, Feds man. Feds World. Uh, Feds World, man. I like that name. Gee, we missing anything? No, that's it. Okay, wait, 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 so wait, wait, wait. and we ate. Hey, <laughs> Man, listen. I want to say something. G, notice we are on Mars, and we're gonna let we're gonna let we're gonna let we're gonna let my boy finish up real quick. Okay, uh, check it out. Um, if anybody want to be uh, a barber or a stylist, want to come work at the shop, just contact me. Um, nine five four nine zero three eight two seven eight. Holla at me, Jeff. Um, if you want to come work, you want to have a different experience in your lifetime, whatever, and see what's going on. Uh, just check me out. Hit me up. Like I said, 954-903-8278. Uh, Instagram is Stuck Two Time. Facebook is Jeff LeBeau. Just let me know what you're trying to do, and uh, we can go from there. You know what I'm saying? We can discuss everything else, and um, hey, mm. it might work for you. You never know. You know what I'm saying? So I'm always looking for new people. I'm always looking for new experienced people. So yeah. we just go, we just, we're going to rock it. And he's hey, he ain't lying, man. As far as the atmosphere, the community, right? When you come in here, it's like it's real family oriented. Very family oriented. Very family oriented. Everybody that works talking. here. Everybody that works here. We all went to the same high school. We all know each other since since man. Listen, I won't even say freshman year. I mean, yeah. since middle school. Yeah. Everybody works here. Everybody, every client that comes here that will come here personally is from from the area. Yeah. From from this whole community that we yeah. in right now. So um, if you if you in this area that we in right now and that you think is super for you, holler at me. Yeah. Hit me up. Text yeah. me. You know what I'm saying? You can text me whatever. You can call me whatever. Just let me know who you is, and um, we can go from there. Yeah. Nah, he's he he is not joking, man. Hit him up for sure. Mm-hmm. You love it up in here. At least come check it out mm-hmm. for sure. So if you're in Broward County or you moving to Broward County, mm-hmm. even if you're in Miami. Wherever you at, you you in Brow, you somewhere near Brow, definitely come check out Stunt. See what he could do for you. He might yeah. could help you out. Great, great guy. Great, you know, he's a mentor. He's a he's a family man. He's always helpful. Always helped me out. So famous enough. Famous man. We uh, see we gotta go back to that. <laughs> we always famous enough, man. Look. Famous enough. We love we love That's all hat, y'all, man. man. That's, That's a hat. That's it's a it's hat, on man. point though. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. It is on point. It is on point. I can't lie. I can't That's lie. That's yeah, but <laughs> look, we appreciate y'all, man. We love all y'all. We love every every single one of y'all that subscribe to us. Right. And the ones who see y'all watch, you watching, but you ain't subscribing yet. But that's all. That's all good. That's all good. Keep watching though. Keep mm-hmm. watching. So we appreciate y'all, man. And look, what time is it? Uh. 12, it's 12 in the morning. We're giving y'all a late night special, and we really got to be out, man. So we out, man. So I'm, I'm going to catch y'all on the next one, though. All right? All right. It's over. Peace. Peace.